Well, maybe I should find a straight edge and we can fill in between these corners. Sounds good to me, let's get going. All right. I grew up as a huge fan of the show. I always liked working with my hands. And when my wife and I bought our first house, we specifically looked for a fixer-upper, I think because I was inspired by watching this old house. And so while we were fixing up the house, we sent a letter to the magazine. We had no idea that they were starting to make Ask This Old House. So we were shocked when they actually answered with a house call. Hi. Hi. I'm Jim Clark from Ask This Old House. Jim, nice to meet you. What is this stuff? It's got a little smell to it. What was remarkably more shocking was a month later when they called me up and out of the blue asked if I wanted the host to ask this old house and this old house. So much out of the blue that I didn't believe it. Tom, I can't find that thing anywhere. Oh, I don't believe it. I know it was here. I saw it the other well, day. Well, good morning. I'm Kevin O'Connor, and this is Ask This Old House, where our experts are standing by day and night, ready to answer questions on your old house, no matter where you live. You know, one of these guys might be ringing your doorbell someday. So keep those letters and those emails coming because we would love to hear from you. If any other television show had asked, do you want to be on our show? It would have been an easy answer, which was no. I wasn't even in a high school play. But because someone said you can work next to Richard and Roger and Tom, I was like, Yes, of course. Tom Silva's given a drywall lesson to Roger and Richard. Are the mighty giants never sleep? These guys are always learning. I love to see this. I was young. I figured, what the heck? Why not go work with your idols? And I literally didn't expect it to last long. I remember telling my boss what I was doing. I had to tell him three times because he was like, what? And then as I was leaving, I asked him to you know, save a seat for me because I'd be back probably in 12 months. We've got a house here that's probably built in the late 30s and it is clearly in need of a new paint job. Can't be too safe when working on a roof. Set over here. It's actually remarkable how much smoke is pouring out of this ductwork. So all of this smoke represents a leak. But I did boot camp with each one of these guys. Richard, you know, made me dig ditches for sewer lines and Tommy and I, you know, had to cut lumber. Kid, there's a job to do. Get to it. And that's all I wanted. Like, I just, that's fine. It's like, put me to work. This is the last drawer. All the doors are on. What do you think of this transformation? You know, it's unbelievable. It's no longer a 1980s kitchen. So this is actually the chicken door. You can leave that open all day long so that they can come and go. This job changed the trajectory of my life in a big way. You know, I was a finance guy, and I kind of thought that I would climb up the ranks in a bank or something like that and be deep into finance, and here I am deep into television. And then you've got this second nut here just to lock it in place. That's right. Kevin, let's check the other side to see if there's any screws going through the post and into the rails. Oh, yeah. Right, you've got a couple top and bottom. I thought at some point it was going to start feeling like a job. You know, I saw a bunch of very generous people for no reason at all put their arm around me, embrace me, and welcome me to the family. Beyond just what we do professionally, I've grown to love them. <laughs> Brother Richard, Hello. at the lodge. <laughs> My contractor is so strange. How strange is he? <laughs> Run, run, Richard, he run! Runs like a For me, the best part of my job is when I personally get to work side by side with some of these folks. Let's dig around it a little more and we'll get on each side, Kevin, and see if it'll pop like an old tooth. There's a lot of satisfaction that I take in working with my hands, tackling a task and getting it done. And when I can shift from the person who has to stand back and talk about it and get to be a small part of the people who do it, that's what I enjoy the most. I like it, Tommy. I like the look a lot. Yeah, now everything is organized. You know what you have. Well, Whatever you want to put on it. Nice job. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Have I shared that love with my kids? It's funny, you know, there's plenty of projects out in the backyard, like the treehouse or the zip line or the jungle gym that I've tried. Whether they take to it or not, we're going to have to wait and see. God willing, they do not take up television, though. I hope they have a real job. You never know the hand you're going to get dealt. Uh, and I didn't expect this one to get dealt to me. I'm glad it did. Uh, I, just, I just hope I'm playing it right. Thanks for watching.
This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.